Dear Tanya Gunner, dear parents, dear faculty and staff, dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the class of 2013. As we look at this class of 110 students from 33 countries, I think we all share pride and sense in their accomplishments on this very special occasion. In the cycle of graduate education, there are only two days when it's all about you. Right? <laughs> the first of these two days, uh, the first of these two was nearly two years ago, the formal opening of the academic year when you enter the school in September 2011. The second occasion is today, your graduation. These two occasions have something very special about them. Two years ago, you had a sense of excitement, an eagerness to get started, to learn to become an expert in policy analysis. Two years on, we equally sense excitement today. However, more the eagerness to get out and to move on, perhaps even to get away and in either case to apply what you have learned. In between convocation two years ago and graduation today were four semesters filled with lectures, seminars, readings and ubiquitous briefing papers, presentations, discussions and a time that we hope did change the way you think and look at the world and perhaps even the way you see your life and career developing. But what is the substance of what you have learned? What is this governance thing? Would the average person on the streets of New York, Paris, or Berlin know what governance is and what you do? Did your parents, partners and friends, many of them here in the audience, did they say two years ago when you told them that you're going to study governance, they said, oh yes, excellent idea, we always knew that you had it in you. <laughs> and you were born to be a governance person, a permanent expert. <laughs> In other words, you did not get a response that you would have had had you said, oh, I'm going to go to law school, I'm going to go to business school. Right? So the last task in front of you before leaving the school is to explain to your family and friends, and to do so convincingly, what you actually did over these past two years. More importantly, what you are now. The prevalence of jokes, actually, um, is a very good indicator when it comes to how well professions and what you learn and what you are going to do is understood. There are very few jokes about governance experts. <laughs> but there are many. There are many jokes about lawyers, doctors, and psychiatrists. There are even jokes about economists. So here's one. How many finance experts does it take to change a light bulb? The answer, entirely wrong question to ask, since the light bulb has long been leveraged, then sold, to be leased back, so changing it is now somebody else's responsibility. <laughs> In this joke, however, you fathom the essence of governance, right? So leaning back, so you lean back, smiling knowingly and with an air that comes as the result of two years of studying at a school, you ask, was it indeed the best question to put forward? Why do they avoid the real answer? Does this whole system of changing light bulbs make any sense in the first place? Are there institutional alternatives leading to more parade to optimal outcomes? And importantly, did anybody bother consulting the light bulbs? <laughs> but back to the main point. <laughs> Governance and public policy is an emerging profession, as yet not well settled, but evolving and changing the way we approach and hopefully solve public problems. Unlike in more established professions, many of you will find your own way. You experiment, you will change fields and sectors. In other words, you yourself will contribute to the modernization of public service 
and offers. It is in this spirit of openness and eagerness that we encourage you to embrace at the start of your careers, be it in public administration, in non-governmental organizations, in business, or in academia. We, of course, have never doubted the quality of our students and graduates, and I'm very, very pleased to tell you that only a few days ago, we received a letter from the German National Academic Foundation letting us know that as of mid-March of this year, the school ranked second in the country in relative terms when it comes to students having scholarships of that kind. And for those of you not from this country, these scholarships are usually awarded to the youngest and uh, to the brightest and best of each cohort <laughs> entering higher education. But uh, not only that, uh, you have only been very eager to go out into the real world while you were at the school and you went to different countries, you went to different uh, institutions as part of your internships and the professional years. So while at Hertie, you were also able to gain experience out there in the real world, as we sometimes refer to it. And what better employer to be able to do that than at the German Development Agency, or GIZ, which, like the Hertie students, um, is a uh, very international organization. And uh, we have had very good relations with GIZ from the very, very beginning of the school. Indeed, many of the school's graduates, a total of 80 students, both German and international, have either completed internships or professional years with GIZ since 2007. And some of them took employment here, there, and I'm sure some of you will uh, also work at GIZ if all goes well. As we are about to embark on the school's 10th anniversary, we are looking forward to continuing that excellent relationship with GIZ because I think GIZ embodies some of the same principle of good governance that we try to teach at the school. So before I pass the word to one of Germany's most distinguished female leaders who will give today's commencement speech and who directs the very organization I was just talking about, let me say a few words about her achievements. Tanya Gunner, our commencement speaker today, is a lawyer by training, and I'm sure she would have attended the Hertie School had we had existed back then. Because her career is very much uh, of the kind of career that we at Hertie like to support. She entered politics in 1986 and became a member of parliament, the federal parliament in 2002, as part of the Christian Democratic Party. She was then appointed Minister of Social Affairs in her home state of Baden-Württemberg at the young age of 34, before being appointed to lead the Ministry of the Environment in that state from 2005 to 2010. And while she acted in that capacity, she participated in various world climate conferences and also the one in Copenhagen in 2010. Today, she serves as chairman of the management board of GIZ which operates in 130 countries and has over 17,000 employees. In a recent article, a leading daily in this country quoted Tanya Gurner as saying that at GI said, we not only offer advice, we also do things and implement matters. It is this can-do spirit that matches the Hertie School so well, and it is also why we could think of no person better suited to deliver today's address. Dear Tanya Gurner, the floor is yours. Thank you.